So to open the back of the phone, you just flip it over. You look in the corner here. There's a little spot where you can get your fingernail in and the back just pulls away. Um, so the battery, uh, you'll see it inserts. There's little contacts there. Just matches up with those. Put the top piece in first and clip it in. So inside the phone, you'll see that there are uh, two SIM slots, SIM slot one, SIM slot two. You only need to use one. You can use both if you prefer using it as a dual SIM phone. This is an SD card slot. So you can put an SD card in here. You can save uh, MP3s on here that you can assign as ringtones. And you can also uh, load photos on here to view on the phone. Uh, this phone uses a standard big size SIM card. So not a micro, mini, nano, it must be the big size SIM card. When you put it in, you should see that there's zero play left and right. It sits perfectly inside. These don't slide back and forward. You actually need to just slip this, the SIM card in underneath uh, that little metal plate. Make sure that the cutoff corner of the SIM card is to the bottom right. So once you've got your uh, SIM card in and you put your battery in, then we can just clip the back of the phone back on to switch the phone on we just press and hold this red phone button so press and hold it for a few seconds and the phone comes on okay so that's welcome tone uh, you can switch it off in the settings if you prefer. Um, if we want to dial a number, we just dial a number as we would normally and then press the green phone button and of course the red phone button to cancel the call. We can add names to our phone book, to our contact list, press the soft button underneath there and now we're going to add a new contact. So we press options, we're going to put the name in, use the arrow button to go down to number, enter the number and then press options and save. To set up the speed dial, we go to menu, um, go to settings, speed dial, and now we can choose either the star, so the, the, the star and hash key can be used as a speed dial, or otherwise the numbers 1 through 9 can be used as speed dial. Uh, 0 can't be used as a speed dial because this is the button you press and hold to alternate between the different profiles, the ring profile, the vibrate and the silent profile. So we can now choose if we want to set up the star or hash or the one through nine. Let's just take this one. Firstly, status. We make sure that the status is on, so the speed dial is uh, active. Set numbers. And now we've got nine empty slots that we can assign speed dials to. So we go options. And now we can either choose a number from our phone book, one of our contacts, or we go down to enter a number. And then uh, once we've entered that number, um, options, done, and there it is. If we press the red phone button to go back to the beginning to dial a speed dial number, we just press and hold that respective button in. So press and hold, and it will begin to dial that number. You'll also see that on the rear of the phone, there is a speaker. So the in-call quality is really good from the regular speaker. Uh, but if you want to use it in the hands-free mode to activate the speaker at the rear, when you make a call or receive a call, you'll see in one of the corners, it will say H-free. If you press the button just below where it says H-free, then the audio will come out of the speaker at the rear of the phone. To set up the SOS button, so this is the SOS button at the back, you press and hold it uh, for a few seconds to activate it. Uh, let's set it up, we go to menu, SOS setting, status, we make sure it's on normal mode. So SOS SMS, it defaults to uh, the preloaded message SOS. Uh, you can change that if you want to, uh, but we'll just save that. This option, SOS, SMS, on or off. 
So when you activate the SOS mode, the phone will actually send uh, that uh, preloaded SOS to the numbers that you've set up as your emergency contacts. You can turn that off if you like, um, and in that case, the phone will uh, just phone, it will just call those uh, numbers in your SOS contact list and not send the SMS. So the warning tone, when you press and hold the SOS button, it does give you a warning tone uh, to tell you that you've pressed it. Uh, some people might be alarmed by it, so if you don't want it on, you can switch that off. SOS numbers, this is where you're going to set up who gets contacted in case of emergency. So we've got five empty slots. You can set up one, two, three, four, or five of them. Uh, and again, under options, you can either add it from a phone book, one of your contacts, or you can enter a number. So when we press and hold the SOS button, it gives you a countdown, so we can cancel it in case you've pressed it by accident. Um, and like I said, you can turn that tone off if you don't like that. Uh, but of course it might be good to keep it on if the person uh, needs someone else to be alerted, maybe someone else in the, in, uh, the same home uh, that will hear that and, and realize there's a problem. Once the SOS mode has been activated, the phone will also go into auto answer mode. Uh, that means that when you dial the phone, it will barely ring and it will connect the call uh, immediately. Um, and then also the audio will come out of the speaker at the back. Uh, this is in case the phone is lying next to the person and they're not able to even answer a call, uh, the phone will auto answer. To get it back to the point uh, where it just rings normally and, and waits for someone to press the green button, we need to go back to the SOS settings. Okay, under status, we switch it off. So now the SOS mode is deactivated and then we go back into status, normal mode, okay. And now the SOS button is primed again for use.